To finish the unit, we're going to take a look at the angle of elevation and the angle of depression, uh, both from the sun or a point on the ground, and also when taking a look at the line of sight. So here, within this picture, our sun would be up here, and the angle of elevation is going to be here, because we're down at the ground, again, looking up at the sun. When we're taking a look at a point on the ground, so say the point's here, and we have to go up the ramp to our loading platform. Okay, so we're going up the ramp. Our angle of elevation is here. Okay, there's going to be some times where you have an observer, say, holding something, or based on where he's standing, okay, looking up at some object. Okay, so our line of sight, we're looking up for angle of elevation. So let's draw that segment from the observer looking up to the object. Let's see if I can do a better line with the line tool. Okay, so we're looking up. Okay, there's our line of sight. And from there, based on where the observer's eyes are, we can also draw a segment that's horizontal. Okay, so right directly across to where the observer's eyes are or where that line of sight is being taken. And then also, too, drawing a line connecting that segment, that horizontal segment with that line of sight. So we end up with a right triangle right here, okay? So let's note, again, line of sight, we're looking up. Our angle is going to be here with our right angle here. And you can even um, think of both of these lines. They're not really there, and you don't have to draw them dotted, but those are lines that we're putting in to help us form that right triangle, okay? So let's um, actually take a look at an example before we take a look at the angle of depression. So let's look at number one. So as shown in the diagram below, the, ele the angle of elevation from a point on the ground, this would be right here, to the top of the tree, right here, this angle is 34 degrees. If the point is 20 feet from the base of the tree, which is right here, is, so let's note 20 feet. What is the height of the tree to the nearest tenth of a foot? So we're looking at the height, which I'm going to label H. Well, to find, so today, with angle of elevation and angle of depression, you may need to find the angle, but you also may need to find a side of the triangle. So we're going to use the notes from day three and day four to help us answer these questions in uh, the day six notes, kind of putting everything together. So our angle's right here. So the placement of the sides, we have the side opposite, and we have adjacent. So that means we're going to use the tangent ratio. So the tangent is tan of an angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. So plugging in the angle, we have the tangent of 34 degrees equals h for the side opposite over 20. So to solve for h, we have to multiply both sides by 20. So on the calculator, we're going to do 20 tan of 34 degrees. I'm just going to double check. Yep, still in degree mode. So 20 tan of 34 degrees. And we get 13.49017. So 13.49017034 is the exact value of H but it says to the nearest tenth of a foot. So the height of the tree, 
since we're rounding, I'm going to say is about 13.4 feet. Okay, now since uh, 2 is also an angle of elevation question, I'm going to do 2 uh, before I go back and take a look at the angle of depression. Okay, and I'm going to move this all the way up because uh, you have the words to the actual problem in front of you. So in reading number 2, it says Bobby is holding his kite 4 feet above the ground, which is noted right here. The distance between his hand and a point directly under the kite is 105 feet, which is noted right here. A, if the angle of elevation to the kite is 65 degrees, and the height, or find the height H of his kite to the nearest foot. So we're trying to find H. Part B, finding the nearest foot, how much string extends from Bobby's hand to the kite? So that would be here, and I'm going to call this Y. So let's start with part A. Well, using the triangle, which I'll highlight in orange, we know an angle, and we also know this side right here, because it's parallel with that distance of 105 feet. So that's also going to be the same. I need to find H, um, and H is parallel to this side of the triangle right there. So once I find X, I can add in this distance right here, falling across parallel, which is 4. So let's note that H is going to equal X plus 4. So to find X, I can't use Pythagorean theorem because I don't have at least two sides to find the third. So we are going to use trigonometry. So according to this angle of 65 degrees, we have the side opposite and the adjacent, which is tangent. So I'm going to do the tangent of 65 degrees equals opposite x over 105. So to solve for x, we have to multiply both sides by 105. Let's go to the calculator. And 105 tangent of 65. So x is equal to 225.17. So 225.17, So to find H, we're going to need to add the 4. So that would be 229.1732267 is H. And we need to round to the nearest foot. So the answer here, the height of Bobby's kite is, again, since I'm rounding, I'm going to say is about or approximately 229 feet. Okay, so now to find y. Now to find y, I could then use this value of x with Pythagorean theorem, but I can still find y using trig by using this 105 and the 65. According to the angle, that would be adjacent to the hypotenuse, so that's cosine. So for part B, and I'll grab a different color so that stands out. Okay, the cosine of 65 degrees equals the side adjacent, which is 105, over y. So I'm going to multiply both sides by y. So now I have y cosine of 65 degrees equals 105. I divide both sides by the cosine of 65 degrees. Let's go to the calculator. I'm going to use that alpha y equals. 
So 105, and the denominator is cosine of 65. And our final answer is 248.4511662. We're rounding here, finding the nearest foot. How much string extends from Bobby's hand to the kite? So approximately 248 feet of string extends from Bobby's hand to the kite. Okay, and that is angle of elevation. So in looking at three and four, or yeah, looking at three, four, and five, it looks like we can do three before, um, we can do three now and then go back and take a look at angle of depression. So let's look at this last angle of elevation question number three. Adam and Brian are standing some distance apart on the same side of a 50 meter tall building. From where Adam stands, the, the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 30. So right here is Adam. And then from where Brian stands, the angle of elevation is 60. What is the distance between Adam and Brian to the nearest tenth of a meter? So that's marked by X. So using highlighters, if I take a look at the angle formed where Brian's standing, the 60 degree angle, we have an angle of 60 in the side opposite. And highlighting the angle formed where Adam's standing, whoops, we have an angle of 30 and then a leg of 50. So they both share that leg of 50. Well, using the orange triangle, I can find this side right here, and I'll call this side Z. And in the red triangle, I can find this whole side, which I'll call Y. And then to find X, I'll just take my length y and subtract z. So in the orange triangle, I'll do my work in orange. To find z, uh, according to the angle, we have the side opposite and adjacent, so that's tangent. So the tangent of 60 degrees equals the side opposite, which is 50, over adjacent, which is z. So multiply by z. So Z tan of 60 degrees equals 50. Divide by the tangent of 60 degrees. Okay. And um, I'm actually going to leave that for now, okay, or leave it exact, and then I'll just type it in the calculator in just a second. So 50 over the tan of 60 degrees. Okay, so grabbing the red pen, according to this angle, we also have the side opposite and adjacent, which is tangent. So the tangent of 30 degrees equals 50 over y. So we're going to do the same thing, multiply by y, and then divide by the tangent of 30. So y tangent of 30 equals 50 divide by a tangent of 30. And I left it like that because I have to do y minus z. And I don't want to round ahead of time, so now I'm just going to type in the calculator. Again, x equals y, which is 50 over the tan of 30 degrees, subtract 50 over the tan of 60 degrees. 
I can take that all in one line in my calculator. So using the alpha y equals, again, 50 over the tan of 30. Okay, subtract alpha y equals 50 over the tan of 60. Enter. Okay, we, what is the distance between Adam and Brian to the nearest tenth of a meter? That's approximately 57.7 meters apart. There we go. All right, now to finish with the angle of depression. So I'm going to go back to that first page to finish. So the angle of depression, so angle elevation is looking up. Angle of elevation, or depression rather, is looking down. Okay, so you'll see, so to a point on the ground, you'll have an observer many times up in a lighthouse looking down, say, at this person. Okay, so in that case, um, when you're looking down, okay, to form that right triangle, we draw a horizontal line again from that point where we're looking down and then connect to form the right triangle. The right triangle is going to be here. And our angle of depression is there. Same idea with the lighthouse. We're looking down at something. So to form that triangle, we draw the horizontal with the vertical and the angle of depression is here. From uh, the balloon, looking down at the object, okay, there's the line of sight. We form that triangle by drawing a line horizontal from that point in which they're looking down, and then draw the vertical line to make the triangle, and there is theta. Now, when you're holding a kite, and they talk about the angle of depression with the kite, and we're going from the kite to the observer. So we're going to draw that horizontal and then go down with our right angle here, and theta is there. Okay, so we did one, two, and three. We just have to do four and five. So in four, the picture's drawn. Okay, so standing on the gallery of a lighthouse, which is the deck at the top of a lighthouse, a person spots a ship at an angle of depression of 20 degrees. The lighthouse is 28 meters tall and sits on a cliff that's 45 meters tall as measured from sea level. So this is, well, let's use green. This is 45 meters. The lighthouse is 28 meters. What is the horizontal distance to the nearest meter between the lighthouse and the ship? So the angle of depression, grab the line tool. So we're looking here, oops, we just don't want white. From here down to the ship. So remember, from that point, okay, we draw that horizontal line. And then we go straight down to where it hits our object. So the angle of depression is right here, right angle here. And the horizontal distance between the lighthouse and the ship, this distance, if we look at the parallel distance, is going to be the same as that one. Okay? This distance right here. Okay, is the same if we go across parallel this distance. But I have to add the 45 and 28 to get a total of 73. So now I can call that x, find that horizontal distance. So based on the angle, we have the side opposite and adjacent. That's tangent again. So tangent of 20 degrees equals 73 over x opposite over adjacent. So to solve for x, I have to multiply both sides by x. So x t 
tan of 20 degrees equals 73. Now divide by the tangent of 20 degrees. Let's go to the calculator. Alpha y equals 73 divided by the tangent of 20. Enter. So x equals 200.56585116. And we're rounding to the nearest meter. So that is about 201, because the 5 is going to bump it up, meters. All right, that was quick. Now I'm finished with the last one. Number five, from an angle of uh, depression of 40 degrees, John watches his friend approach his building while standing on the rooftop. So let's draw a horizontal line and draw our building. Okay, and let's draw John. stick figures. <laughs> the rooftop is 60 meters from the ground. So this is 16 meters. And John's eye level is at about 1.8 meters from the rooftop. So John's going to be looking. So this is about from here down 1.8 meters. What is the distance, the nearest tenth of a meter, between John's friend and the building? So John's watching his friend approach the building while standing on a rooftop. So let's draw John's friend. And we're trying to determine the distance between John's friend and the building. So right here, x. It states that an angle of depression of 40 degrees, so here's John, spots his friend, Draw that horizontal and the angle of depression is right here, straight down. This distance below of x is going to be the same as this horizontal distance here as they're parallel. We have a right angle here. And we know that this distance on the right side, purple, I guess, is the same as this distance. So 16 plus 1.8 is 17.8. Now we can find x. So according to the 40 degree angle, we have the side opposite and the side adjacent. So the tangent of 40 degrees equals 17.8 over x. So let's multiply it by x to cancel it out on that side, move it over there. x tan of 40 degrees equals 17.8. Divide by the tangent of 40 degrees. And, whew, we're almost there. So alpha y equals 17.8. Divide by the tangent of 40. And we get 21.213 dot, dot, dot. So x equals 21.213213395. To the nearest tenth of a meter, uh, it's about 21.2 meters. And that is it for the notes, the day six notes. Uh, there is more notes, or there are more notes in your notebook, okay? Those topics, so using trig to solve triangles that are not right angles, day seven, and the area of a triangle using trig, we're going to take a look at that when we come back from Christmas break, as those are additional topics that we cover in honors geometry.